everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. I want to give God praise for Psalms 113. I want to begin at verse 1. Scripture says, praise the Lord. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its going down, the Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations, his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God who dwells on high? Father, thank you for your word. May your people be edified and may you be glorified. In the matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I came to declare real quickly tonight that there is none like our God. There is none that has given what God has given unto us. Grace and mercy, hallelujah, and new life through his only begotten son, Jesus. I thank God tonight because he sent his only begotten son. He humbled himself and he left heaven on high and came down here to die for wretched sinners like us. And because he gave his life, we now have a relationship with the father. We can now call him our father. We can now stand before him blameless because of the blood of Jesus uh, that has covered us. We are now filled with the precious Holy Spirit, our comfort, our teacher, our helper, our guide. We now have eternal life. We now have a home in heaven. We now have a dynamic relationship with God who has declared he will never leave us nor will he forsake us. Who has declared that if God be for us, who can be against us? Who has declared that no weapon that is formed against us shall be able to prosper? He is a great God. He has done great things and he shall continue to do great things in the lives of his people. If we would yet put our trust in him, if we would yet give God all the praise and the glory and the honor that's due unto him. So I bless him tonight. I thank God for everything that he has done, not only for me, but for all of us. For God has given us great grace and mercy. He has saved us and redeemed us from you know, the hand of the enemy. So I give God praise tonight for he is worthy of all of the praise. Again, the psalmist said in 113, Psalms 113 of five, who is like the Lord our God who dwells close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. 
I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.